Hi everyone, we are back with another war today, and this will be war number seven against PYCB. We're going to be bringing in Omega Red, Sabretooth, and Human Torch. A uh, pretty light war today, just five fights, and several of them are going to be very sloppy. Um, up first, we have Absorbing Man here on node two. We're going to use Flame On, and yeah, this is going to be a pretty straightforward fight. Um, obviously you won't be able to parry after knocking him down the first time. My plan was to try and just build some smolders and get some of the Nova Flames up on him and then bait out a special one and knock him down for after he throws that. So here we're trying to bait a special one. Here we go and we're going to knock him down to remove his regen. We're going to try and hold block and push him to special two if possible now. And as you can see, this fight's pretty straightforward. He's melting quite a bit. This is just a rank three torch versus a rank five. Absorbing man, bait out this special two. We could knock him down here again as well. And yeah, he's going down pretty quick. We're gonna throw this special just to gain some more spacing since we were getting a little close to our side. Here I'm trying to get him to throw the special one, and he dies from the Nova Flames. So Nice and easy first fight, uh, probably the smoothest fight in this war, and this is where things start to go poorly. Uh, we have this Omega Red vs. Fury fight. I've taken this before, it did not really go well, um, but I did practice the heavy timing uh, once he's in his second life to try and knock him down. Um, I have it down pretty well. Um, I wouldn't say it's perfect or anything. But that way we can hopefully get some knockdowns uh, to keep the Fury rolling and keep him ticking down. Um, but yeah, at the start we want to just do a typical Mega Red. Parry, one hit, parry, one hit to build our, uh, our spores. I decide I can't parry those so we're losing a lot of our spores. Then I eat a combo. And yeah, this fight... <laughs> Started to go really badly right away. We're just gonna knock him down here and lock in just so we have some damage going uh, We only get up 16 spores because I play poorly and then we lose them all here So yeah, this fight's going really bad um, We knock him down there for no reason. I think we're gonna dex into our special two here Yeah, so we're gonna dex into our special two to get some space and hopefully get some more damage up. He throws a special one right away though, unfortunately, which kind of was an issue. He kept throwing it into my block right when I was trying to get spores up, and yeah. So, this fight's going really bad, uh, but we're getting close to knocking him into his first, second life, which we do here. Um, so now is the part where I need to try and practice knocking him down after he throws a heavy. So here we go, first one. And that one goes well, so you kind of want to hit him right after he finishes the first heavy, and then it should kind of bounce off from the second hit of your heavy attack. Should uh, knock him down while he starts blocking. We're going to try it again here. And the timing's right, but he keeps resisting with standard ground, which is the one issue trying that. Um, thankfully, we were able to get our block up in time. Here we're going to try again. He resists again. Uh, it def it pushes him far enough back again where we could uh, get our block up in case he did try and punish us. But yeah, fight's going <laughs> really slow. Um, here we're going to try one more time, I believe. And we finally do get to knock him down. Stuck dexing in the corner here. I decided to just throw the special one since he was low on health and he goes down. So really bad fight. Um, the heavy time was okay. Getting a, eating a full combo and losing half my health right at the start wasn't good. Um, but yeah, we got him down and we are just going to burn through loyalty, healing back up for the Cersei fight. Um, this one should be pretty straightforward. We have a Guidance. Um, I've taken Cersei on Path 5 and Section 2 before. So we just really want to build our scores up. I decided to knock her down early so that we can have our spores build while um, our Fury's up, since we are just able to parry. Um, so we get a decent amount of spores going. 
And then here we're gonna knock her down again. So fight's going really well. Here I dex the special one and I do my dash in to stay close and I was too focused on that and completely forgot she was unblockable since she threw the special one while I was far away. Um, so yeah, we eat that <laughs> into the face. Take even more damage. We're gonna throw this special two here to knock her down and then they're gonna finish out the fight. But yeah, I mean, the fight <laughs> went well besides eating that special one. And then eating a combo as we're stunned. So just more potions we're gonna be firing away. Um, this next fight, I forget to record before it starts, so I pause real quick to record since that's what we're supposed to do in for Loki. Um, this next fight is Korg and it's on node 24. Should be a standard Omega fight. I did take off Dex here since I just don't want to deal with Unblockable no matter what. I'd rather just run it in Vol and take damage into... Uh, take a special one to the face if we need to or whatever else happens. So that's the plan here. As you can see, he's melting pretty well. We're going to take this into Block. Again, remembering we can't Dex out of it, so I just don't try to, which would have been a mistake. He throws another one. He gets very trigger happy with his special ones here. Here we lose a little bit of spores, we're able to lock in with 17. We throw our special 2 to try and speed this up, and he goes down. So that one was clean, uh, went according to plan without too much issue. And our final fight is going to be this kingpin here on 54. I've taken this before and it went fine. Um, this one's going to get a little sketchy. We want to use an advanced power boost here so we can power drain him if he gets close to a special three or high on special two. Similar plan here. We want to parry light attack, uh, as we build our spores. And then once we lock in, we really just want to only throw our heavy to keep our spores locked in with the D gen. Um, he unfortunately gets decent. Decent, but not good for us. Uh, RNG, where we're critting a lot. I did take precision off of this fight, but I just kept critting, unfortunately. We're going to lock in here. He's close to two bars of power. And I'm hoping that the prowess won't push him to two, which it doesn't. Then I get caught on a dashback, and he goes to a special two, which was not the plan. We're stuck dexing this special two, which we do, thankfully. Um, we're not allowed to knock him down now, obviously, as he has the unstoppable. Uh, here, finally get him stunned. We were going to heavy knock him down. Of course, he gets another prowess. We're trying to bait this special out. And he's getting close. We're going to knock him down here. He has his overpower, so his special one would now be unblockable. And I just throw the special three to get out of here. Save what little dignity we have left after that fight. Um, but yeah, he goes down. Definitely not according to plan. That was a sloppy play by me. We were in a good spot since he was uh, right below two bars of power. So we just had to bait that special one out and we would have been completely fine. So yeah, just some poor mistakes from me. But thankfully, we did not die because of them. We do end up winning this war and we have our best war of the season by far. Only two deaths. So hopefully we can keep that going. Um, this brings us to three and f three and four on the season. So yeah, looking okay right now. Hopefully we can win these next two wars to get a, set up a good final three for us to hopefully finish in Masters. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching.